are the Virtual Human Interaction Lab. Um, so what we do here is uh, we do human subjects research. Um, so we bring people into the lab so we can experiment on them. So we can put them, put them in virtual worlds and then uh, see how they behave and respond to that technology. So, so this is the, the big room that we do most of our research in. This is what we call the multi-sensory room. So there are a lot of different uh, modalities that we can integrate to try to create a multi-sensory experience. So depending on how you move throughout a physical space, we want to track that so that in a virtual world, your physical movements correspond to virtual movements. And that's what right. makes it feel real. And that's what creates um, this sense of uh, what we call presence. So feeling immersed in a virtual world, uh, confusing those virtual objects as if they're real objects. Yeah. Specialize in doing to make you feel uh, immersed in your world. Um, so the way that we do that is that we track how you move with these cameras. So if you look around the ceiling, we have all these uh, security cameras and they look for uh, infrared light. So you have this thing called a marker. Um, so when we turn this on, the cameras track how you move, uh, and then the virtual world is updated based on that. So when I take a physical step in this room, um, if I have a marker attached to me, the cameras can track uh, at about 180 times a second down to a quarter of a millimeter. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these ankle trackers on you so we know where your feet are. So oh. if you want to just attach these to your ankles. It doesn't matter which No, it won't matter. You just want to kind of put the sensor towards the front. So that's the view we are seeing from the camera, right? That's yes, this is what he's going to see through the goggles. Alright, so let's have you... Yes, there. Let's have you turn around to the left. So you're going to rotate, yeah. It's going to be black to start with. Can you see the, the virtual room? Okay, cool. So here you are. So this is a, a room that we modeled after uh, the actual room that you're in. So we wanted it to, to look realistically like the room that you were just in physically, but everybody's gone. Okay? Yes. So you're the <laughs> only person in this virtual world. So now you're on your own. Especially where when you hear people's voices, right? And there's not any anybody there. So you look up and then you see the side. All right, so we're going to have you uh, turn a little bit to the left and look down. And you should see this kind of uh, wood plank that you're in here. See okay. that? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Let's have you take a half a step back. And then kind of half a step. Yeah, you can see these balls. Those are actually yeah. where your feet are. So you can actually kind of uh, gauge where your feet are based on kind of where those balls are. So let's have you take a half step to your left. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to have you look up towards the roof. And we're going to change something. Oh my god. So now you look down. So now <laughs> we have uh, have moved the platform up and turned it into a high dive. And we can actually move you through this virtual city. Interesting. <laughs> See the models are rather low poly. Yeah, yeah. So that's one thing about the virtual environment is that what plays a, a bigger role into what we call presence, so when we measure how immersed you feel. What plays a bigger role is not the graphics, but the tracking. So the more fluid that the tracking feels as you move around plays a bigger part uh, than the graphics. So for us, we don't have a, you know, a tremendous budget and time in terms of uh, what kind of graphics we can put into the world, but uh, it usually doesn't take very much to make you feel immersed. Yes. You know? It's very interesting. Yeah, you, I'm feeling a sense of... Uh, Height. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, that's actually. Oh. 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 So you can actually, yeah, you can actually fall off this platform if you oh, lean no. over. Don't get sick. Oh. Oh. Wow. And then it puts you back up when you walk, kind of walk towards the middle. So it's cool to, you know, kind of step wow. off or walk off that high dive. Oh, it's got sound to it, too. Yeah, it's a little sound when you fall down. Do so you feel okay? Yes, I do. Cool. Actually, um, like Surprisingly, even though I know that this isn't <laughs> reality, <laughs> you still have a sense of fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yeah, that kind yeah, of slight yeah, sense that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even not even being in that makes <laughs> So you can imagine how so the VR is used a lot in a clinical setting, right? So to treat acrophobia. So people that are fear that have a fear of heights, you can use yeah. virtual reality as a clinical treatment to have people kind of work over their fears, right? Because I can I can adjust kind of how high this platform is, right? So we can start low and maybe um, can you make it work like So you have full adjustment to this world. Let's make it high. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing. So we can do anything we want to this environment, right? So we can control everything. Oh, my.
Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Okay. I'm on the head. program. Yeah, talk to him. I'm sure yeah, you'll be happy to have you. Yeah, I'll come and do that. Yeah. All right, so same thing. We're going to have you face the window. That's going to be fun. We're going to see the okay. dust. Hey, I'm going to bring that to Cal. We get to see the conference. Wow. Okay, so it's going to be the same thing. I know We're him. flying around this world. You're going to be swimming. It's the same motion. Why does it take longer to load up? Uh, this one has a lot of models in it. A lot of flying uh -huh. effects, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the flowers at the bottom. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, when you're ready uh, to take off, you got to put your arms up a little bit higher. Just remember to go a little bit slower, you can put your arms yeah, farther apart and just kind of float around. Wow. It's pretty Oh! Yeah, you can kind of You're in the go through the parts of this. Yeah, just kind of... Yeah. Look at the other water. That's it. environment like this to teach environmental science, oh, right? right? So it's really easy to visualize different types of marine life or talk about recycling oh, and look at this guy. ecosystems. There it is. Bump into it. Oh. Oh, you can swim inside. Become the shark. Look at that guy. That guy. So let's have you kind of land if you want to point that towards the ground. Yeah, there's kind of a weird terrain in this so but what's also cool is in this environment, we can also uh, show you visualizations of polluting and things, right? So we can actually pollute the, the ocean to make it look a lot murkier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, less visibility. That's messed up. So, yeah, we can use this as a platform for, for talking about how you affect the, the environment. We can also do plastic. So we have this kind of uh, this trash like uh, plastic that floats around uh, in the water. So we can talk about recycling. This thing in the uh, Pacific Ocean where all the trash kind of collects in the oh, currents. It's called the Pacific Geiger. Oh, 